It is a type of separation. After months of infighting, the Bloc Québécois is splitting up. Soit Madame Ouellet partait. Either Madame Ouellet had to go or we were leaving, says MP Luc Terriot. Le pouvoir pervers de dire non au Québec. Voilà. It's a long drop from the founding days of Lucien Bouchard and official opposition status. <laughs> a year ago, Martin Ouellet took over a bloc that had won just 10 seats, not even enough for official party status. And she has kept her other job as a provincial politician with the Parti Québécois, coming to Ottawa to lead her federal party just a few days a week. The seven fed-up MPs say she didn't listen, and they fundamentally disagreed about how to best pursue independence. The way Mrs. Wallet uh, see the, the, our job, it's like being salesman for, uh, for sovereignty and repeating day after day that Quebec should be independent, Quebec should be independent. I believe Quebec should be independent, but I don't believe that saying that day after day will make people believe the same, you know? Ouellette says she tried to work things out, even offered to go to a third-party mediator, the political equivalent of couples counselling. We have the will to settle and to be able to work together, and the door is still open. It could be the end of the bloc. We'll have to see how they would do in the next election. CBC poll analyst Eric Grenier says the bloc is in a difficult position, with Quebecers showing a lack of enthusiasm for sovereignty. It's not a priority anymore. So the parties that are proposing uh, for Quebec to be an independent country, they're not doing well. While the NDP have swept in to nab bloc seats in the not-so-distant past, right now the polls suggest it's the Liberals who will benefit most from bloc weakness. As for those seven now former bloc MPs, they say they'll still promote bloc ideals. They'll just do it independently of the leader. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.